Have you ever heard the saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me? Or how about, I'm rubber, you're glue, whatever you say bounces off of me and sticks onto you? Well, I have something to say about that. Lies, lies, and more lies. You're now watching Highly Opinionated Television. Words hurt. Hey everyone, Sharice here. I am the host of HOTV. Gigi, unfortunately, is not here with me. She is at a twerk class. That's right, I said it. She is at a twerk class. Just kidding, she is at a dance class tonight. So it is just you and I. And I hope that you're ready, because we're going to be talking about how words hurt. First off, I would like to say whoever said that sticks and stones may break my bones but words may never hurt must have been deaf. Like, there's no way that you can say words don't hurt. Believe it or not, those little invisible things that come out of your mouth that you can never take back have so much power and so much meaning. And depending on how you say your words, they can really hurt someone and really scar them for life. Here is an example. So when I was in high school, I would get asked questions like, Cherise, oh my gosh, you're so skinny. Do you eat? What do you eat? Oh my gosh, are you anorexic? Are you bulimic? Seriously? I would get asked questions like that. Or, what size do you wear? How much do you weigh? What are you at size zero? Then there was this one time where this boy said, you're ugly to me. And I was like, I bet you won't say it to my face. <laughs> and then he was like, you're ugly. And then I said, <laughs> no, I'm not. Words hurt. Wait a minute, rewind. Let me tell you about the most recent incident. So this one girl came up to me and she said, you know who you remind me of? First of all, let me just let you in on something. As soon as someone says that, you know who you remind me of, or you know who you look like, I automatically cringe because I automatically think that, that they are talking about someone who is, sorry, ugly, or someone that I look better than. It's not being cocky, I know what I look like, Please don't compare me to anyone. Thank you very much. Have a good day. And so, like I was saying, this girl that I work with, she said, you know who you remind me of? There's this cartoon, this animated series, where the skeleton has a younger sister. You know the one, the holiday one, where he steals Christmas? Do I even want this conversation to go on further? You said I look like a skeleton sister. And so I just stopped her right there and I said, you know what, that's really offensive. And I said, but it's a good thing that I've accepted who I am and what I look like, but if you were to say that to anyone else, that's really offensive. Her automatic response, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to offend you, I didn't mean anything by it, you know, like she's cute. She's cute. <laughs> you just said that I look like a skeleton sister, but she's cute. That's like me saying to someone, you know Dumbo, that cute elephant? Yeah, you look like Dumbo's sister. Oh no, 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 but Dumbo's sister is so cute. You just said that someone looks like a big fat elephant. How is, is that a compliment? I would get hit in the face. You would get hit in the face. I would want to hit someone in the face. Oh, forgive me, Jesus. Oh, People say things without thinking, and that's so important for you to think before you speak, because the things that you say have power, and they can sometimes hurt. You may have the most, the best, what's the word? You might have the best motive in mind, but it just comes out very harsh and cold and mean, and it hurts. 
So what can you do when people say things like that? First of all, I'm going to tell you that when people say things that are just completely ignorant, ignoramus, dumb, obsolete, completely asinine, what you need to do is not replay that over and over and over in your head because why? You'll start to believe it. Number two, what you can do is create a new story. When someone says something totally rude and heartless to you, counter that with something positive. Yeah, she said that I look like a skeleton, sister. <laughs> no, I don't. But what I can say is I know who I am. I am beautiful. I am slim. And she just doesn't know how to put her words together to form the right thing to say, which is you're very slim and slender and I admire the way that you look. That's it. That's what she meant to say. Because I know that there's someone out there who's been saying rude, heartless, mean things. So Sharice, what can I do to not be that way? I am so glad that you asked. Number one, first thing that you can do is hold your tongue. Uh, shut it. Stop saying things. Just shut your mouth. Number two. I said it already. Shut your pie hole. You know that hole where you put pie in? Oh, you don't eat pie? What about cake? Rice? Cupcakes? Candy? Water? Juice? Soda? Shut it. Try to kiss your nose. Yeah, try. But in all honesty, just think before you speak. Because what you say, you cannot take back. No matter how many times you try to say, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it, I didn't mean to offend you, please forgive me, those words came out of your mouth. And you can't retract it. You can't hit the rewind button. This is real life. So remember, sticks and stones may break your bones, but words do hurt. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of HO TV. I'm Sharice, and I'll see you in January. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the page. Make sure you follow Wear Your Confidence on Instagram at Wear Confidence. Follow me on Instagram as well at Sharice Styles. Until next time. <laughs>